Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading for year 2024. In this video, I will cover your love in general, the money, what mistake you should avoid, where is the most focus, how to be more happy in 2024, and who is coming towards you. So let's start. Let's start with your love. First, let's shuffle the deck four times. Okay. You are coming from a love story where there was commitment or there was a big dream to commit. Something seemed quite serious with that King of Pentacles there, but unfortunately it did end and you did not share the same goals and perspective about the future together. Somebody did not want to commit. There's an attempt here to reconcile. You are entering the new year, 2024, with a desire to, to see some balance and reconciliation in this story. And there's a great motivation here. I think there's still attraction between you both. But for me, in 2024, you are dropping anything that is not worth anymore. And especially if this person continues to be quite withdrawn with this Four of Pentacles, I think you will drop this because you are prioritizing yourself, your own happiness. But I want to clarify it more. So you are choosing a new path, a new better path in 2024. And whatever is not growing and expanding, you don't have time for it anymore. It seems to me like there's a new potential for you and not a past story that has already ended. Let's see one more card about a past story. King of Cups, you may still have feelings, but you will prioritize yourself. That's why I think you will not be dealing anymore with somebody that either is very indecisive or wants to juggle people or does not want to come towards you with much more clarity and honesty and be more vulnerable. So a new better path is coming ahead of you and you are choosing yourself. You will love yourself more in 2024. You will realize that love that big love you have been looking to find in that person is the love that you have inside yourself. I hope it makes sense. Now let's continue with the second uh, spread. Let's see about the money. Let's see what do we have about the money for you Aquarius in 2024. There's lots of confusion uh, around uh, a work situation here. You're entering the year with that kind of energy, like you're trying to reflect and journal with yourself about what you want to do next. There has been lots of passion and um, big expectations about this career path for you. You want to make it right. You want more harmony and balance and no conflict, some of you either have uh, not a very good 
uh, work environment like conflicts and disagreements or big egos into your workplace and you may realize that it's not worth it because it has causing you stress and anxiety. I see a new opportunity that will grow slowly but will give you much more joy and fulfillment. And it will grow slow but steady and it is serious. That is what I'm getting about the money. Now let's see what mistake you should avoid. Some more thoughts about you here for the new year. The Chariot, Three of Swords, Nine of Wands reversed. You're trying to kind of force progress to something that may have been hurt you in the past. You want to repair it. Yes, you are trying to be very optimistic and positive and see this in the best light possible. But if you have been so guarded and this connection has caused you a low confidence or insecurities with that nine of wands reversed and especially unfortunately you may have been heartbroken from this connection don't try to force this don't try to force a connection that questions your love for them and does not uh, understand you Already, you have given them lots of facts and evidence about your true feelings towards this connection. So don't try to force a connection that is already broken. It should be a team and not a one-sided one -sided connection. Not only with one partner doing all the heavy work there. Now let's continue with where is the most focus for you in 2024? Let's see which house in astrology. Let's see those other cards. Where is the most focus? Twelve house. It is a house of reflection. So this year will need you to reflect a lot about what you want to do in your career and in your love as well. It is good to take time off if you want to because it will greater improve your inner contentment and happiness. You should take care as well and be consistent by being more physical, physical activity, because it will help your uh, em mental and emotional health. This is a time when you become very intuitive as well, so trust your intuition in whatever decision you are going to make, important decision. Because uh, that gut feeling and this inner voice is right, especially with this 12th house being quite focused. I think you are being reborn here. This is a transformative process to you to be reborn to, a, a, to somebody that has a higher uh, frequency and uh, this will start with yourself, loving yourself more. That's what I'm getting with that 12 house now let's continue with how to be more happy in 2024 for you. Let's see more advices, if we can. Already got some good advices here, but let's see if we can get more. How to be more happy in 2024. Don't hesitate 
don't stay stuck, try to not overthink, and just take that step forward. So it is saying don't stay in the same position. I'm getting you having a great opportunity. Now it may be in love, it may be as well in your work and career with that two of wands. But you tend to overthink this a lot and this will just overcomplicate things. This is a great chance for you to move forward to a more successful or victorious path with a chariot and two of wands. Some of you may need to travel as well. But there's this resistance from you, either not wanting to leave uh, a place where you feel like you have been used to. It may have been a love connection or a job. Some of you may be with somebody new, but still think about the past. That is something that is not recommended. Just focus in the now and into the new person. Because with the two of wands, you know that this other person is better than the last one. That's what I'm getting as another advice for you, how to be more happy in 2024. So try not to overthink. Just make the move forward, keep moving, and all data, all information will reveal uh, themselves. And don't be so hesitant about an opportunity for which you have lots of attraction or passion for. Be all at that. Be 100%. And what is the past should stay in the past. Now let's see the last one here. Who is coming towards you? Let's get, let's hopefully get more answers about who is coming towards you? Hi Priestess, this person may be a Pisces, I have Cancer as well. This is a person that tries not to express themselves much, but they feel a lot. This person may be into spirituality, astrology as well. They have great intuition, but the challenge with them is that they should be more open. If you see that this person you have interest to is not revealing much about what they feel and think about you, you should have a discussion about that. And that's how you can understand who is this person. So Pisces, Cancer. But I'm getting more details in the extent about their sign and personality. This may seem like quite an introvert to you. That's what I'm getting here. Now, if you are interested, I will continue this reading with more details in the extended that is below this video. There you will find the following details. First, a quick overview for each month from January till December. Then, when will you meet the most important person? Who are they? Let's see more about their sign and personality. And let's see about what is the overall message for the whole year 2024. Thank you for watching and I wish you a great and happy 2024. See you the next reading and bye for now.